They found something in 2024, a planet, one they weren't looking for, one that defies everything they told us about the universe. They call it Speculoos 3B, a name stripped of meaning, sterilized for the public. A cold clinical label to mask the fear that lurks beneath the surface. But the deeper you dig, the more you realize this world should not exist. And if it does, then nothing we believe about reality is true. Speculoos 3B is a nightmare of physics. It shouldn't be so close to its star. It orbits at 0.007 AU, so close that its surface is a roiling inferno, the sky ablaze with radiation. It shouldn't be locked in place, one side forever scorched, the other an abyss of eternal darkness. The realm split in two, day and night, fire and shadow. It moves too fast, it completes a full orbit in 17 hours. Something that close should have been ripped apart, incinerated, yet it remains. Science says it's just another exoplanet, a curiosity. But what if it's something else? What if it isn't a planet at all? The ancients spoke of planets that vanished, worlds swallowed in fire. The Sumerians wrote of Nibiru, the hidden planet, home of the Anunnaki, the gods who walked among men. The Mayan texts speak of the smoking mirror, a world of shadow and light where the dead do not rest. The Bible warns of the furnace of heaven where the fallen were cast down place of eternal burning. Speculoos 3B is not a dead rock, it is something older, something waiting, and now we have seen it. But what if it has seen us too? This planet has no moon, no natural satellites. It is utterly alone, adrift in its blinding eternal day and its unbroken, infinite night. But planets like this shouldn't be empty. If something survived there, it wouldn't need light, it wouldn't need warmth, it would be something else entirely. Something that was forged in fire and shadow. Something that exists in the places we refuse to look. What if Speculoos 3b isn't just a planet? What if it's a gateway? Think bigger, what if this planet isn't just orbiting its star? What if it's trapped there? It's eternal day and night, evidence of a split reality. It's impossible orbit suggesting something is anchoring it in place. It's discovery happening now as if it was meant to be found. What if Speculoos 3b is not just a planet, but a prison? a celestial holding cell locking something away, something that was never meant to be released. The fallen ones cast out of the higher realms, the original Nephilim sealed in a burning world to suffer for eternity, a planetary scale experiment running loops of quantum reality, testing something far beyond our understanding. What if Speculoos 3b isn't orbiting its star? What if it's circling something else? Something we can't see, something waiting. What happens now? They tell you it's just another planet. They tell you it's too far away to matter. But they always say that. They said we were alone until they admitted we weren't. They said space was empty until they found signals in the dark. They said the universe followed laws until objects like Speculoos 3b broke them. They don't know what it is, but they fear it and they should because we weren't supposed to see it. And now we have. So the real question is what happens next?